time for the Longine Chronoscope, a television journal of the important issues of the hour, brought to you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. A presentation of the Longine Whitnor Watch Company, maker of Longine, the world's most honored watch, and Whitnor, distinguished companion to the world honored Longine. Good evening. This is David Ross. May I introduce our co-editors for this edition of the Longines Chronoscope. Mr. William Bradford Huey and Mr. Robert Colborn, an editor of Business Week magazine. Our distinguished guest for this evening is Mr. Paul C. Abersold, director of the Isotopes Division of the United States Atomic Energy Commission. Mr. Abersold, you, of course, have just arrived from that fabulous place, Oak Ridge, Tennessee, and I believe you've spent most of your adult life in atomic energy, so I'm sure that you're equipped to give our viewers an up-to-the-minute report on developments in the atomic energy field. First of all, sir, can you illustrate simply for us uh, how extensive the atomic energy program is today? The atomic energy program is big business. It's about uh, as large as any of the largest corporations in the United States at the present time. When our expansion program is complete... Not uh, quite as big as U.S. Steel. Not right? quite as big as U.S. Steel, but it'll be about $8 billion uh, at the end of this expansion period, which means about $200 or more per family uh, invested. In other words, every American family now has $200 invested in atomic energy. That's a total of about $8 billion. That's right. Everybody how, many, how many people are working for it now? About 100,000 people uh, work on the program and operations and construction. There's 